What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? It is a new month, a new year for old games. Retro games. Do you nerd? That's right, nerdlings, it is time for Video Games Monthly Box. We got this thing nice and unwrapped, and there's, a, there's quite a bulge to this. So this is a monthly subscription service that you pick a tier of how many games you want to receive, and uh, you fill out a list of what consoles you want and what games you already have to try to avoid any duplicates. Keep that list up to date. We send them to you. You get to keep them forever. We do the three games a month, but uh, this is bulging, so maybe there's a... Something extra in there. Huh? 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 Whoa! Whoa! Let's, let's just dive right in. It's a new year. Let's jump right in here. All right. Well, we've got the wonderful uh, magnetic calendar. I love getting these every year. They're always fun to put them on the, on the uh, door to see what they <laughs> go with. And this one is paired with premium edition games with some QR codes on it. That's right. We actually do have uh, all the others on the door. We've been using this service for a while uh, now. I'm so you've got your card. Uh, what this does is reminds you to populate your list so you don't get any duplicates. And then it also tells you you could win some games if you share it on social media. You know what I like to get in VGM? It usually doesn't even matter the game. Super Nintendo game. Super Nintendo game. Chalmers. <laughs> <laughs> This is a Busta Move. Busta Rhymes, Busta Move. Oh, there's... <laughs> Someone needs to make that happen. The Busta Move games, I actually love these. I've played these on so many different systems and in arcades. They're fun little puzzlers. You've got uh, an apparatus at the bottom of the screen that fires your colored gem or colored orb up into the mass of other orbs. You match up those colors to try to knock them all down and clear them away. Good lord, those games have been around forever. People play with those on their phones when they're going to the bathroom. <laughs> The next one we have is Family Feud. Ooh. It's the cardboard. Yeah, you don't see a whole lot of Genesis games in the cardboard boxes. Those generally came later on. There's the manuals inside. Oh, look, it's one of those uh, all out manuals, black and white. Thanks, guys. This is a very, very good condition cartridge. Probably was given to the kid by grandma or grandpa, and they never played it because they're like, Family Feud? I don't want to play that stupid game. That's a TV show that my grandparents watch. Do you like the Family Feud I games? I love the Family Feud. It's so much fun. I loved watching it. I, I would rent this occasionally from, from the video store and play it. Of course, I did that with Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. I loved the video game, or the TV show game video games. <laughs> TV game show video games. That's hard to say. The only weird <laughs> thing, though, is trying to play like the older ones now because some of the clues are like for older things. Look how great this is. Sega Master System. Oh, I love it when they send us Sega Master System stuff. And look at how it's even got the hang tab. I know, that doesn't even look like it's ever been used. <laughs> it kind of doesn't. See, the last time we got one of these, there was a hole in the cover. <laughs> no hole. <laughs> and it looks nice and complete. You've got the manual, the cartridge, that thin bit of label isn't even damaged. Why is that always damaged? Because your grubby little hands would grab it and mess it up and pull it off and stuff like that. Probably. And because you tried to lick them. Probably. Oh. I'm not sure. Oh. Look. See here. They went all out for this completion. Nice. It's, uh, huh. Take hold of the Sega Adventure. Huh. Um, I'm thinking. What, what is that? I'm thinking they took hold of some drugs before they it's made like this poster. Peter Pan, Lord of the Flies, <laughs> holding Thor's hammer. You definitely don't get art like this <laughs> nowadays. 1987. I love how it's all like mostly sci-fi things, weird things going on. Then you got a football player over here. <laughs> well, on the back, just like uh, some of the posters that would come with the old Nintendo games, you've got 
games showcased. So, you know, if you're a kid, get some games, you maybe like circle them, leave it laying out or something. So the parents, the grandparents take a hint that, yeah, you want that Rambo First Blood Part 2 or, uh, you know, Fantasy Zone. That's a good one to get. Do you see this thing it says it needs 3D glasses? Ooh. Problem with the Master System 3D glasses? I mean, first and foremost, they're super expensive. But the things are small, so if you're an adult, good luck making those fit on your head. I'm pretty sure they were fairly brittle. And, like, they actually look broken in the book. <laughs> they are broken in the book. <laughs> so they knew. Okay. I tell you what, I'm pretty happy with this box because I love getting Super Nintendo games and something that I'm already a fan of. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> and then complete games yeah, to add to cool. the Sega collection. <laughs> All right, well, Nerdlings, please leave some comments down below what you think of a slightly Sega skewed box. Our first box of 2023. In the bag, baby. 11 more to go. So, so it's time to start, you know. Like, each month, better and better, VGM. Hey, you gotta top this in Ooh. February. Good luck with that. Leave those comments down below what you thought of any of these games. And like, hit that notification bell. You can subscribe. That'd be cool, too. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Go over to the Retro Refresh, because we've got a pretty awesome website over there. Check out what we've got on TeePublic, because we've got some really cool merchandise for you over there. And we'd love to see you in our merch. And nerdlings, if we like it, we nerd it. Are you scanning me? <laughs> you better do that. Bye, nerdlings. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. You know, like when someone breaks into the Pentagon and they steal codes and then there's like, uh-oh, things are going to shoot out of the ground and to hit other countries. What? What What are those things? Rock missiles? Yeah. But we got to we gotta stop them. So what do we do to that? <laughs> Missile stop? If, I, if I'm going to hit you, what are you going to do? Block? Missile block? Missile blockade? <laughs> so if somebody's coming at you with a sword, what are you going to do? Move? What are you going to do to yourself? Try not to stab myself? <laughs>